Black Lightning, Tuesdays at 9 8. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's B.A.V. here and thank you very much for tuning in to my opinion slash recap for season one, episode one of Black Lightning. First episode is titled Resurrection. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into this recap, uh, help you help, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Also click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So. Um, I did not say review. I said a recap. And the reason why I said recap or opinion slash recap is um, this is going to be spoiler field. And so I'm just really going to recap the whole episode. Um, so if you have not seen season one, episode one of Black Lightning, which uh, debuted on uh, CW, uh, I strongly suggest you turn the video off now. Go watch the video. Go watch the episode and then come back or you can stay if you do not care about being spoiled. Now, with this uh, DC property here that came on um, CW, I did a reaction to the trailer many, many months ago. And if you go on, if you scroll, subscribe to my channel and you go back and look at that, you'll pretty much see that I was I, I, did, I was not a fan of the trailer at all. Um, I thought it looked bad. I thought it looked crappy. I thought it looked corny. I thought it looked cheap. I thought the show was going to suck. Um, pretty much thought it was just a low budget mess and I am just going to go ahead and tell you now that I am proud to say that I was wrong I was very wrong um, I really did enjoy this uh, first episode and I can honestly say now that I will be coming back next week um, I'm not sure if I'm going to I mean I'm gonna try to uh, always uh, upload videos recaps you know the night it comes out but if I'm busy doing something else then I'll just try to get it you know upload it whenever I can but I was really impressed by this I had low expectations but you know I was sitting there smiling ear to ear now I didn't love everything about it and we're gonna talk about that but for the most part I really did enjoy it uh, the title of the episode is resurrection the creators of the show are Salim and Mara Brock Akil um, if you've never heard of them before, um, Salim, he was the director for Sparkle, which came out a number of years ago and Jumping the Broom. That movie had Angela Bassett and him and I believe his wife. They are both uh, the creators of the shows uh, or the showrunners, uh, The Game, which was on BET. Um, you know, I, I don't even know if it's still on. That, that show was so great in the very beginning, but after season three, it kind of tanked and went downhill. And also Being Mary Jane, um, great TV shows. I love that. And so they are behind this. Now, the Black Lightning himself, that's uh, by a guy named Chris Williams. Not really big in the movies, but he's been in Grey's Anatomy. He's been in ER. He's been in a lot of TV uh, TV shows in the past few years. And, you know, he was he's the titular character of black lightning and for the most part you know he really did a great job and you know um you know this show has a lot of parallels of what's going on right now in the real world and i think that's something that kind of uh you know got me attached early on is there's a lot of uh you know injustice and and violence in the streets and you know a little bit of police brutality but in this episode here it starts out where there is violence in the street and Chris Williams, Black Lightning, is going to the police station to uh, pick up his daughter uh, by the name of, what is her name? Uh, Anissa and, yeah, Anissa and, wait, <laughs> my handwriting is horrible, excuse me. Oh yeah, her name is Anissa. And she was arrested. She was arrested for protesting and it turned kind of violent. And I, I, what I like is at the very beginning of this, they kept kind of quoting um, very important figures in history that has to do with the black community like Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King and this and that and just so many other people and just kind of just saying like you know more uh, more violence just gets more violence and you can't fight hate with hate you can't fight darkness with darkness and you know I, I liked all that you know she, she and her sister um, they have um, like her real name is Nafessa Williams and the sister's name China Ann McLean and, you know, China was OK, but Nefessa, she was one of the standouts in this whole episode for me because of just her acting was just very great. It was very convincing. I love the, you know, the banter that she was having with her younger sister back and forth because her younger sister was just kind of more of a hothead and wanted to party and not really responsible. 
But, you know, the older sister was just like, okay, hey, we live in the real world. You can't be out here, you know, popping bottles and twerking. You still in high school. You know, you need to chill out and worry about your future and things like that. She's being responsible. She's being like a real big sister. But the relationship that she has with her daughter, you know, is very powerful as well. You know, we find out that uh, Black Lightning, he, he used to be a superhero uh, back in the day, but he, you know, put the costume away and wanted to become a principal and kind of fight crime in the daytime. And, you know, he, he's kind of lost his touch or whatever. His daughter doesn't like that. Like, man, dad, what happened? You used to do this. You used to do that. You used to be, you know, so brave. And, you know, but what happened? You're kind of folding on the pressure, you know, and I, I like it, it's not like over the top. It's not overbearing. You know, she's not annoying anything like that. She does kind of have a valid reason of, you know, uh, her for feeling this way towards her father. But at the same time, her father, Chris Williams, Black Lightning, you know, he has a valid reason, too, because later on in the in the show he's just kind of like look i had to put the costume and powers away i had to stop being a superhero because i was getting my butt kicked i was almost dying there was no end to it i you know i started being a superhero because i just wanted to stop this person right here because they killed somebody that somebody really close to him died and he wanted revenge but then you know there was more crime over here and this person that you're in this you know violent crime so he was just like look there's just no end to this you know i'm losing my wife i have children to look after you know so i don't blame him and kind of just seeing the back and forth like that between him and his daughter um it's just kind of like something that really just stood out to me and you know like i said the acting from Vanessa, you know was very great i liked all that um, there kind of is a scene that where there has some, uh, have some police brutality to where he was being pulled over. It was raining and cops were just like, get out the car, you know, and, you know, having an attitude, not really telling him what he did wrong or why he was arrested, slamming him down, trying to put cuffs on him. And that's just like, you know, they cops shouldn't do that. I mean, you know, be cordial with somebody. It's like, hey, I'm pulling you over because of this. You know, and it's just not fair. And they're just taking advantage of, you know, their authority. And that was like the spark right there. They're kind of just like, you know, I'm tired of this crap. He kind of showed a brief glimpse of his powers and, um, you know, kind of, you know, mess with the electricity and things like that. And I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but, you know, that's OK. But like going into this, I don't I don't I don't know much about Black Lightning. I, I really don't. Um, this is a DC comic character. Uh, I am more into Marvel. Um, I knew of Static Shock, like when I was much younger, but Static Shock and Black Lightning is not the same person. But if you're eager to know what his powers are, uh, Black Lightning is an Olympic level athlete with superb hand to hand combat, internally generated electromagnetic field and can create hurls, bolts and supercharged electricity. And so um, as far as like the hand to hand comment, that was pretty dope. I liked all of that. Um, I like the electricity and him, you know, manipulating electricity and all that. So just kind of seeing him do that at the very beginning uh, with the cops or whatever, that was kind of cool. And then, you know, we kind of get the next scene of uh, one of his daughters at a club. And I like this is kind of where they reveal the villain, which is name. Uh, his name is William uh, Coffitt. Uh, that's his real that's his name in real life but in uh in the show he, he goes by the name of lala they could have picked a better name than lala that's kind of whack and not very intimidating but he was a good villain i, I liked all that i loved everything in the uh in the uh, in the club the 100 club and the 100 club is like the name of a gang i don't know if it's a 100 no the the yeah the name of the club was the well the slang name is the 100 club and there's a gang called the 100 gang which all the people in the gang hang out at the club and you know they do prostitution and sell drugs and gang bang and all that stuff and i say a prostitution so lightly like that's just a good thing not judging you if you're a prostitute you know i hope you find a better profession but uh no i'm, I'm kidding but well well i'm never mind anyway, anyway but, um, you know, that was just kind of a scene there to where we really got to know the villain and what he was capable of. And I kind of just like how they drew Black Lightning's daughter in and just kind of like she didn't want to have anything to do with it. But I, I like how she got kind of thrown into the mess, which motivated Black Lightning to have to, um, you know, get involved in the crime world again. So that was just great writing there. Um, of course, the black guy, I tried to find his name, but I couldn't. But he's a simp. He's a loser. You know, he's whack, you know, grabbing on uh, one of the sisters, um, you know, at the club. No, not at the club, but at the school. 
Um, I was just like, bro, what are you doing, man? You, you can't just grab women like that or whatever. And she kind of hits him with the gut move and does a little flip and flips him upside down. And his pump butt getting, you know, beat up. You know, he feels bad about it and embarrassing on pull a gun on what well, he's about to pull a gun on the girls at the school. And I'm just like, whoa, dude, what are you doing? Like, you finna pull a gun on like all the it's like 50 to 100 students outside. Everybody can see you. You don't have a mask on. It's bright daylight. So he's just not thinking clearly, you know, but Black Lightning got to come down there and save the day. And, you know, like everything leading up to this is great. Um, we kind of get like some Batman and Alfred scenes with, uh, you know, there's like one of his guys. Uh, he's not black, you know, uh, nice, uh, nice gentleman at, at a clothing apparel store that I apparently built black lightning's costume way back in the day and they're having pep talk and that's kind of like where we start to get more of black lightning's uh backstory and i'm i, I like it i'm liking all that i'm loving uh i love the flashback scenes shout out to roland martin you know on tv he was with tv one I, you know he's been popping up in a few movies here and there. he popped up in downsizing um as a tv pundit or a news host and he also popped up in black lightning I like that. I like the relationship that Black Lightning had with his wife. Um, you know, they're divorced, but, you know, there's still um, some attraction there. And, um, you know, I hope that they get back together. Kind of got some flashbacks of why she left him and wanted a divorce. And I don't blame her either uh, because, you know, people can try to use her as collateral if, you know, you're married to a superhero. I'm liking all that. But the only thing I did not like about this episode, and I, it's probably going to be in every episode, is the costume. Um, the costume of Black Lightning is extremely corny uh, to me. Um, it's very bulky. Uh, you know, if you're trying to sneak up on people, it's kind of hard to do that. You know, if you have neon lights on your on your uh, chest. But then again, you're going to be drawing attention if you're doing lightning bolts and things like that. But it was one particular scene where he was like, like his daughters got kidnapped because the guy at the school wanted revenge. And, you know, he came later on with his goons, putting guns in the middle of the high school and went and kidnapped them and took them back to the hotel. Right. And so that's where the last uh, fight scene is, where Black Lightning has to come and rescue his daughters. And he does, you know, he's fighting and stuff, but he does like this move right here, like with his hands and the shows like wave. And he does like this Hadouken. And I like that, like some little street fighter, you know, like, you know, Hadouken. I, it, I was like, oh man, I, like I even called it out. Like I was like, man, he about to do a Hadouken. So when he like did like this and called it back, you know, I was sitting on my couch, like you know, like yeah, you know, charged it up, like Hadouken. I'm a big Street Fighter fan, you know, if you couldn't tell already. So all that was cool. I like the action and I like the powers, but the costume was really whack to me. Uh, you know, I hope he gets an upgrade or something like that. Apparently, it kind of stops bullets. It's bulletproof. You know, I'm not entirely sure. Um, you know, but I, and I skipped over seeing early at the beginning when um, the cops shot him in the chest with the tasers or whatever. I'm like, oh, y'all done messed up now. And I'm like, power up. Y'all y'all giving him power. And he like took it and just, you know, threw it back. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this show pretty, you know, pretty dope or whatever. I was crapping on it when I did the reaction um, a, a number of months ago. But I, I like the show a lot other than the freaking, uh, other than the freaking, what you call, uh, the costume. And like he just has like goggles on his face. It's like, dude, people are gonna know who you are. I don't know. I mean, it's not really a secret identity, you know. Uh, so, and, and it didn't make sense either. At the end of the episode, to where the cops are there at the motel and they're arresting all the guys and taking statements. It's not like it's a hundred story building to where you can stand at the top and kind of look down all heroic. It's a freaking two story motel, dude. People going to see you up there. And I'm just like, does nobody see him up there? Does nobody see that Black Lightning was involved? Maybe, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe he doesn't care if people know that Black Lightning is involved, but bro, don't just stand at the top of the thing. So that part really didn't work to me and the costume didn't work, but I, I, I really did enjoy this episode a lot. Um, I really can't wait for the next episode. Um, you know, it, it was really good, guys. I, you know, um, we got Black Panther coming out in uh, about 28 days or something like that. And then we got Black Lightning, you know, Black Lightning, Black Panther, Black, Black, Black. <laughs> no, I'm uh, joking, but I'm serious at the same time. But no, it, it was a re really great episode, guys. Um, this is like the first recap I've done. Um, I was, I, I took a few notes, um, you know, but I'm like, well, man, I'm, a, I'm talking to the whole show in spoilers. So 
I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna work on some things. If you if you want me to recap some more, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you like, what you what I didn't like. They will always be spoilers. So, you know, um, you know, but guys, that's just my opinion for this first episode, season one, episode one, Black Lightning called Resurrection. Um, have you seen the episode? What did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Um, just leave me a comment below why and uh, you can still give me the thumbs up subscribe to my channel um, um, like my Facebook page like my Instagram my Twitter all that good stuff is down in the description box below and it's right there at the bottom of the screen and there's um yeah do all of that but guys I just want to thank you very much for tuning into my opinion slash recap for the first episode of Black Lightning and before you go don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my opinion peace